Today I'm flying Virgin Atlantic Premium to Nassau in the Bahamas. But the big question is whether the Premium Economy service justifies the upgraded costs. In this review I'll compare the service to an economy flight I took on the same aircraft type a few months ago. When booking, premium seats tend to cost in the region of 80 to 100% more than economy classic seats. Although sometimes you can pick up an upgrade at the airport on the day of travel for around £300. Premium has dedicated check-in desks which tend to have far shorter queues. This gives the feel of a more personalised service. You can take two suitcases weighing up to 23 kilos each. By contrast, Economy Classic has a lot of rope blinds and only one suitcase weighing up to 23 kilos included in the price. At Heathrow you go up the escalators to security. There's also a lift. Premium doesn't get you fast track security, so you join the standard queues. After security, there's a walk through duty 3 before you get to the main departure lounge. There's lots of seating and a range of shops and food outlets. Although expect to queue for any restaurants. There's no business lounge access included. My flight was departing from the remote pier, which was about a 10 minute walk from the departure lounge. At the gate, premium passengers got to use the priority lane alongside upper class passengers. The flight was on a seven year old Boeing 787 9 aircraft. Registration GVYUM, called Ruby Murray. Premium passengers got to board the aircraft ahead of economy passengers. Premium was located at the front of the second cabin of the aircraft. There were 35 seats in a 232 configuration. I was in seat 21K. The seat had a width of 21 inches. The distance between each row, or pitch, was 38 inches and the seat could recline up to 8 inches. This compares to economy classic seats with a width of 17 inches, a pitch of 31 inches and a recline of 5 inches. On each seat were headphones, a pillow and blanket, and an amenity kit. In economy, there was a smaller pillow and blanket, and headphones. A glass of Prosecco was offered pre-departure. If you like the review, please do subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Amenity kits aren't always provided on day flights from London, but they were on this flight. The kit comprised earplugs and a pen, toothbrush and a small tube of toothpaste, and a basic eye mask. Between the seats at floor level were power sockets,
and below the monitor was a USB port. Hello there. We're delighted to welcome you on board Virgin Atlantic. We push back a little behind schedule as the safety video plays. You lose yourself in our dazzling world of entertainment. But first we're going to show you a safety film and we'd like you to give it your full attention. We taxied across the airfield to take off from runway 27 right. Once in the air, I unfolded my TV screen to check on the entertainment system. For most seats, the screen was in the back of the seat in front, but in the front row bulkhead seats, it folded out from beside the seat. The headphones were okay. They weren't noise cancelling though. Very similar headphones were provided in economy. The entertainment system featured a range of movies and TV box sets. I watch See How They Run. Wi-Fi was also available for a fee with download speeds around 4 megabits per second. Shortly after takeoff, the drinks trolley came around. Wines, beers, and a range of spirits in miniature bottles were available. It was the same offering as economy, just with a glass instead of plastic. For all seats in premium, the tray table folded out from beside the seat. It was a bigger table than in economy. The premium meal service was very different to economy. It consisted of three courses with a choice of main course. The starter was a quinoa, butternut squash and feta cheese salad, which was good with a range of flavours coming through. The meal was served on crockery with glassware and metal cutlery. For main course there was a choice of vegetable curry, chicken casserole or shepherd's pie. The shepherd's pie was also very good. It tasted a lot better than it looked. The dessert was a chocolate and caramel crunch. The meal was a huge upgrade from the economy offering. A choice of red or white wine in a can or soft drinks were offered. This was the same as for economy, but with glassware rather than plastics. The standard premium seats had fold-down footrests. For the bulkhead seats, a footstool was provided after takeoff. There were two dedicated bathrooms for premium passengers, located at the front of the cabin. Like most aircraft bathrooms, they were snug. There was a fold-down baby changing mat. Also at the front of the cabin was the galley, where a range of snacks and soft drinks were available throughout the flight. A 
about halfway through the flight, lollipops were offered. These were also offered to economy passengers. On longer flights, but not today, a cheese toasty was also offered. About an hour and a half prior to landing, afternoon tea was served. This consisted of some sandwiches and cakes and a scone with cream and jam. Prosecco was served alongside tea and coffee. This was an enhancement of what was served in economy. The seatbelt sign came on about 30 minutes prior to landing. Overall, do I think premium is worth the upgrade? The extra legroom and space around the seat are good. The food and drink service is much better. If experience is important to you rather than just getting from A to B, then yes, it's worth looking at premium. If you can bag a last minute upgrade at the airport, definitely go for it. Is it worth the full cost though? Personally, I would say yes. You also get off the plane ahead of economy passengers. And your bags are tagged for priority delivery. Let me know what you think of the review. Like, comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe for future reviews.